so while camping. Things don't always go to plan. <laughs> we had a really good walk today, to be quite honest, and then uh, we'll go for our wild camp tonight. But before the wild camp, we have to do the important things. First is have a drink, and obviously have something to eat. So that's mine. <laughs> and Something ran over for you. And there's Alan's. Look at that. A good start of the night. Cheers. Well, if anybody knows where this is, you'll know that that is a trickle because it's normally there's a torrent coming down over there and again a trickle over here as well so after a, a 10 mile hike this morning up three frells and uh, a couple of drinks at the pub and a nice uh, pub meal we're now uh, heading up to our wild camping spot the weather looks absolutely amazing so open we'll go get a nice sunset and some nice stars to see as well why not come along with us so we just got up in time to see the sun setting behind us uh, as the sun drops so does the temperature but uh, plenty of warm gear and uh, we have a pull to get up here especially with that uh, bag on I think I've got everything in there apart from the kitchen sink. There's a guy when we got to be able to a really canny lad. Took a couple of photographs for us and uh, we thought he was uh, going to camp for the night as well. But it turns out he just came up with his uh, day pack and just came up for the last couple of hours just to watch the sunset. And why not? I don't know if you can see us or not, but... <laughs> uh, no way we could get a picture of the top of the fell that we're at so we've had to drop down and we drop down and then we drop down and uh <laughs> and basically we're surrounded by about five foot ferns either side of the path so we have done one enormous circuit and uh I don't know what time it is there now it's 20 past 10. <sighs> thank goodness it's the longest day and miles today we've done 13 and a half miles <laughs> the last three and a half miles with a camping pack on I am absolutely knackered and the place I thought we might get a decent pitch the old rock so possibility there but it's right next to the path Alan's having a look down there yeah a bit of an adventure today <laughs> but like I say thank goodness it's the longest day today because uh, if, we, if we walk around much further, basically we'd almost done a full loop. Anyway, let's try and get the tent up. It's up. Don't laugh. I'm going to get my chair out, I'm going to chill out, and, uh, and I'm going to collapse into that tent. Assuming the tent hasn't collapsed first. <laughs> well, over there, if you can just see the reflectors, as the Wild Country Helm 1. I don't particularly want to get any closer because, uh, honestly, if I sneeze in the middle of the night, that tent will fall down. That's how badly it's been put up, but it's just been thrown up. And at the end of the day, it's a shelter for the night. As long as it does its job, I'm happy with that. It's been a real adventure, and uh, so we're just chilling out there. Uh, I'm having a side down, I'm having a, a rum. It's just nice to sit down. So, I'm looking forward to all the stars coming out. I can sit up all night. I've got my chair. It's not cold. If them stars come out, that's exactly what I will be doing. Quarter one in the morning and uh, just getting in the tent there now. Have I enjoyed it? It's been absolutely brilliant. We've had a great laugh. Uh, a few drinks and uh, unfortunately Alan's got to go to work tomorrow. It's only fair that uh, I said to him, I said, look, uh, you get yourself in your tent and I'll get in mine to make sure he gets a good night's sleep. I'm going to be up for the sunrise in the morning, so fingers crossed that we get one. Mm -hmm. 
Alan reckons he'll sleep through it, so if I am up and there is a decent sunrise, I've got to give him a shout. We've had a lot of ups, we've had a lot of downs as regards to walking. We've done a lot of mileage as regards to walking, but we've had a heck of a lot of fun as well. And for me, that's what it's all about. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get a, a couple hours sleep. <laughs> Ten minutes to sort of get myself sorted out, looked out the tent and so behind us you can see the beginning of the sun rising. Whether it's going to be spectacular or not, hard to say yes, but a spectacular morning. Anyway, I'm trying to be as quiet as I can because that low snoring you can hear behind us is Alan. His uh, tent is just over there. So thankfully, <laughs> my tent was there, and believe it or not, it stood the rigours of a night. To be fair, I didn't have a bad night's, uh, I wouldn't say sleep. I think I dozed off a couple of times, but I never really slept. I never do when I'm outdoors. Uh, I think I miss uh, a nice warm Mrs. Metal Mad next to us. We got to the summit, look round. We couldn't see anywhere suitable. So we rightly or wrongly decided to drop down a bit and circle back round the fell. The further and further we got down, the higher and higher the ferns around the side of the path grew. There was absolutely nowhere for us off the path. And everywhere we looked, it was just covered with either rocks or ferns. So this is as good as it's got. Having said that, when we did eventually get pitched last night, a sit down, a couple of chairs, a few drinks, just chilling out, relaxing, having a good laugh, it made it all worthwhile. And the morning view, superb. Yeah. I'm happy with that. That's uh, half past four there now, so I've been sat here uh, just under an hour in my seat, just chilling out. Uh, watching the skies over there. So hoping we'll see and fail because it is a little bit chilly. Uh, the sun coming up uh, in the next half an hour or so. Anyway, I'll keep you informed. How nice is that? I've been up uh, an hour and a half there now. Alan's still in his tent. I've tried to wake him up a couple of times because uh, this is what he's missing. But at the end of the day, he's at work today. So now these are the plus sides of wild camping. You get a day like this, a morning like this, a sunrise like that. It makes it all worthwhile. Come on, Al, you're missing out. <coughs> That's all I'm waking up. This is better than going to work, I'd say. Yeah. It's funny sitting there, uh, how watching almost minute by minute the light changes, the colours change. Absolutely fantastic. And when you've got the lake down there as well. 
This is what it means to be alive. So, time to get tidied up. Take all my rubbish home with us. And it was a, a decent shelter for the night. I've done a few stretches. <laughs> Limping up. <laughs> and given that we got here, I would say about half past ten, quarter eleven last night, uh, before we got picked up here. It's half past six there now. There's not, apart from a blade of grass or two, nobody would know we've been here. The sun has just gone behind the cloud there now. But you can still feel it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. So, we've left no trace. I don't even see that bottle there. So somebody else has been here and they've left that. Which means we're going to have to take it away with us. And uh, it's a shame that not everybody can be as considerate as we have been. One thing I remembered straight away, one thing I hated was packing up afterwards, trying to get everything back into my bag. Never fun, never enjoyable. So to the people who go out every single week, hats off to you. Something I couldn't do. Had a good time, Al? Absolutely loved it, mate. Yeah. Good day yesterday. Yeah. Got got some miles in, got got a, got a fair few summits knocked off as yeah. well. So didn't exactly go to plan last night, but then look where we where, where you stumble across yeah. and where you wake up. So yeah. perfect. So really good day yesterday, really good night last night. We had a good laugh, we had a good bit of scoff like as well down at the local <laughs> pub. Nice food, that and was uh, so if you've never subscribed to Alan's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. So, do yourself a favour, go over, check him out. So, it's Thursday morning. Uh, I'm back over on Saturday morning, meeting up with uh, Ashley Arnold, and we're going to do three brand new fells together. Keep your eyes open for that one. Well, I'm just popping down there to see the uh, waterfall. I've seen it numerous times, filmed it numerous times. So, while you have a look at that, I'll have a breather. Whew. It's been hard work. Yesterday and this morning, especially after a couple of hours sleep last night and then we've had to circle all the rest of the way around and now it's up for a, a good mile, the car park. Where well, I'm going to chill out for a bit. I'm knackered. If you've enjoyed it, click on the like button. Really would appreciate that, I'll tell you something. It's only going to be a couple of days. I'm back out again. Cheers.